Every once in a while, a story comes along that makes us laugh, makes us cry, and reminds us of the enduring power of love. That story is David Nichols' beloved bestseller, One Day. I will always remember the experience of reading the book. It seemed like it was on fire, like it was lit from within. Last summer's worldwide phenomenon spent 12 weeks on the New York Times bestsellers list and has been named one of the best novels of the year. Now, One Day is coming to movie theaters everywhere this August. Action! Emma and Dexter graduate on July 15th and meet on that night and almost have an affair. The book and the movie check in on them as characters that same day that they've met, July 15th, every year for the next 20 years. I got offered the job of manager today. They told me they wanted someone who wasn't going anywhere. And everyone's lost at 25. You're not. Trainee TV producer, nice new flat, group sex Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah, but you know, I am crying on the inside. Yeah, well, Emma and I are just good friends. You sure about that? Anyway, she's not my type. Which is exactly why I like her. I can definitely guarantee the people who've read the book, the, the movie has been made by people who are devout fans. This is scooped a bit low, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good job I didn't put it on backwards. There is probably no bigger fan of the book than me. Well, welcome to Late Night Lock-In! <laughs> I just called to let you know you are the best friend I've ever had. I'm touched, Dex, but you're off your face. Dexter? Dex? You're amazing and famous. I love you, Dexter. I just don't like you anymore. One Day was adapted for the screen by Nichols himself. It's a love story. It's funny. It's also a drama. I wanted to write a big romantic epic. David Nichols has been a daily part of the process to be true to the fans of the book. I screwed up my career. I screwed up my friendships. That's not true. The story becomes very moving at a certain point, and I had to put the script down and cry, and that's a really good sign. I, I need to speak to someone. Not someone yeah, you. I loved the story of her and Dex and how all these unexpected things happened throughout it. Jim is incredibly Dexter-like. I mean, I think he's spot on, and Anne likewise. I think Anne has the intelligence and the wit and the warmth that Emma needs. It's been really thrilling seeing the book and the script come to life. It's a really faithful adaptation. Whatever happens tomorrow, we have today. One day.